what these kids should be aware of is that they are being targeted. There are people who create cult-like structures, okay, with the sole purpose to entrap socially awkward men and lonely women. As you observe correctly, they are not built with the intent to help men improve their social skills. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. I wanted to make a video sharing some information I received from a guy that worked with a lot of the big dating companies and he wants to stay anonymous but he confirmed most of what I said yesterday in my why I hate RSD video okay which to sum up basically I was saying that most of the dating coaches in this industry okay almost all of them are purposefully misleading you and purposefully uh, confusing you okay and, and actually causing harm to your results rather than getting you better and they keep you on this ferris wheel paying them year after year after year and delivering no results okay you're actually making your game get worse so he shared some information with me i blocked his name out because he wanted to remain anonymous but let's go through that here okay before we continue please subscribe if you have not already subscribed new videos every day at 2 p.m eastern time okay so I will just go through this and, and make what you will of this. But, the, you know, this, I've heard all kinds of shit like this for years and years. But this, so there's some interesting uh, nuggets to be gleaned here. So he says, what these kids should be aware of is that they are being targeted. There are people who create cult-like structures, okay, with the sole purpose to entrap socially awkward men and lonely women. As you observe correctly, they are not built with the intent to help men improve their social skills. Okay, for all of you... That, that watch all these fucking guys okay, consume a lot of their content, buy their products, take their courses. How much better have you gotten? In most cases, not very much at all. Okay, Usually zero or a reverse in, in skill level. Okay, Or to help women resolve their loneliness. These two groups are just willing to spend enormous amounts of money and are vulnerable due to their life histories. Of course, these groups don't make out make out the full target audience for these companies. There are men who just want some tips to get laid and women who want to learn a little about improving their relationships and who don't suffer from a lot of loneliness and or social awkwardness. But the majority of money in the space is being made by targeting the vulnerable and using their weak spots against them. I was not aware of this when I got in the space. I think most people who work in it are not aware of it until much later, mostly because employees are being sourced from the target demographic. This is, again, similar to how cults operate, okay? You take the biggest believer and give him some power. He'll be the hardest worker, not critical, and by all the effort he is doing for the cause, it becomes harder and harder. Let's switch screenshots here. It becomes harder and harder to acknowledge he is being played, okay? This is a strategy that RST perfected with their armies of volunteers. I think volunteers are incorrect, okay, an incorrect term. These people are emotionally dependent on RSD. RSD uses that and gives nothing in return, let alone a solution for the reason why they got dependent in the first place. These people indeed volunteer their time, but this is because their minds have been shaped in a certain way due to factors completely beyond their control. RSD scopes them out, targets them, lies to them, and then asks them for free labor, which they're happy to give. Some of you may be wondering, like, like people were saying in the comments, they're like, Oh, RSD deleted a lot of their dating material. They're still running fucking dating boot camps. Okay, Derek's schedule is packed out for months. Tyler's still running boot camps. Okay, now, but what they're doing is they're approaching a more mass mainstream audience. Okay, Julian is coming in to fix all this, uh, you know, weirdness that he created. Okay, he made you into this weird person, calling girls bitch and slut and dog and like doing all these weird spins and twirls and all this stuff. And now he's running a transformation mastery, okay, to fix all the weird to fix all the weirdness he created, okay. Tyler's running uh, high status communication. What the fuck does that mean? Nothing, okay. But he's now he can approach, uh, you know, attract clients that aren't even into pickup, okay. They just want to communicate. Jeffy's doing the charisma mastery bullshit, okay. Um, you know, Max and Derek have gone off into the business coaching world, which they know nothing about. Okay, Derek is recycling Dan Pena shit, and Max is recycling shit from the, this German guy. I'm going to make a whole video about that. They just recycled a whole bunch of other people's content. It's mostly just free content that's available on YouTube or in books. Okay, and, and those systems are just meant to upsell you and extract as much money as possible. 
So yes, this is all still going on, and yes, a lot of you are still, you know, in these guys like wider nets that they're casting. You're still giving money to these guys, and they're just like full out scamming you. Okay, it's a full call scam operation. So continuing forward here, uh, these people. Let's see, target something they're happy to give. But if RSC would not lie, if they would be honest about results, these men would never commit all that time and energy. It leads to disillusion and bitterness. These people indeed volunteer their time. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Um, in the beginning, it is not easy to spot what's going on because on the lower levels, the victims are surrounded by people who are altruistic. They are surrounded by other dependents, volunteers, and people who want to get higher level, basically higher in the hierarchy. Like, listen to my, my thing I did in the interview with, where the guy lost 35K with Derek Moneyberg. He was saying that, like, all these impressionable young men want to become business coaches themselves, okay, or want to become pickup coaches. They don't know shit about either one, just like their mentors, okay, Derek and Max. But it's just, it's just bringing them into the fold here. So it says, in that position with that background, it's impossible to know what will happen in the future unless someone warns you. With your videos, you might be able to do so and prevent a lot of harm. Okay, that's that's obviously the goal. Then he said, you're positioning yourself as the authority in the field, bashing RSD, et cetera, et cetera. Of course, you want to make money. You run a business. What I'm wondering is how you look at the victims of these practices. Okay, first of all, I don't do this for the money. I have other income that I've made in the past. Okay, I, I made money with poker. I made money in a tech career. I made money with stock trading, et cetera, um, and with affiliate marketing and internet marketing in the past. The dating stuff... Is just a big passion of mine. Okay, it's it's what I devoted like most of my adult life to optimizing, and it's very hard for me to continue to optimize my own system. But I get a lot of pleasure out of optimizing my student systems, okay, on a regular basis, and having the best system. I pride myself on having the best system by by a landslide in this industry. Okay, but then he said, um, "How do you how do you look at the victims of these practices?" Okay, and then we had a bunch of back and forth. I won't include that, but I told him I had a very verbally abusive childhood. And I was in that demographic that's being targeted to, to be exploited. And he said, oh, well, did that motivate you more to seek out help? And I said, yes, 100%. Okay, the, the, the nonstop verbal abuse, my mother, would, you know, as a, as a child, without going into a huge long story about it, I was constantly told, like, you'll never be anything. You'll always be worthless. Like, you're never going to do, you're never going to amount to anything. Like, you're always going to be, like, garbage. Like the, and I was told that, like, nonstop. And that created, like, a big void actually like a, a giant drive to get acceptance and validation okay and from women and that's what you know combined with like extreme you know intelligence and it sounds arrogant but it's, it's most intelligence comes from genetics anyways in the book uh the blank slate modern denial of human nature by stephen pinker the cognitive scientist from harvard he makes a very compelling case that contrary to pop popular belief most of our intelligence is determined at birth okay it's it's largely genetic. It's it's it goes against the whole idea of the tabula rosa uh, posited by the philosopher John Locke, who thought that like everyone has equal propensities to be of different levels of intelligence and creativity, etc. That's not, that's simply not true. Okay? It's been disproven empirically, disproven with data from cognitive science. So when I say like yes, I'm extremely smart. That I'm not taking any credit for that really. Okay, I just got a good genetic luck of the draw, but hy massive hyper analytical optimization combined with the drive of like, you know, a, a, a pretty uh, traumatic childhood from, from verbal abuse created like the perfect storm and like, you know, gave me, gave me the, the drive component to go and master this field. Okay, that's how I got so good at it. Some of the top martial artists that I follow were, were bullied, like George's, George uh, St. Pierre. I have, a, I have a picture of him in, uh, in Montreal. I ran into him at a club. He's considered possibly the greatest MMA fighter of all time. Okay, and he was bullied a whole bunch as a child like you know and, and other top fighters i know they were just they had their asses kicked and and were were bullied a whole bunch as a child and that all that trauma made them master martial arts so they'd never be bullied again okay i went and slept with 1300 women you know to to finally get validation or whatever it's not the healthiest thing to do but it helped me optimize this game okay so i told them yes I do feel for these guys because I was extremely, extremely, extremely shy and introverted and I had a very traumatic childhood and I can relate to a lot of these guys, okay? So that's why, I, you know, it's, it's nice when I, that I'm trying to, to help you guys. Most people see it as just hating or whatever and they cling to the, the idols and the cult leaders that they've been indoctrinated to, to worship. 
But continuing on here, there's a couple more screenshots. He says, so this is where a lot of guys like us find themselves without their intention. They're in their 20s or 30s. They have a history that makes them more motivated than average in women. They're also receptive to others promising to help them achieve their goals. As you pointed out in your videos, there are people in this space who are aware of this. They don't deliver results. Actually, they misrepresent the results. They also hide the true cost. They don't tell you at the first seminar you will work a year for free or during your first video you would run out the door. Okay, it doesn't matter how motivated you are. It's a slow process and they select for the people who are the most receptive, just like cults. Now this can be done online. They cast an incredibly, now this can be done online. They cast an incredibly wide net. Okay, now he said, I don't know how you feel about this, but the way I see it, there's also a tremendous opportunity. All those guys and girls with a, a, a poor life history, traumatic childhood, which is a lot of us in this space, they didn't choose. They didn't choose that. Like that was another thing he was saying, and his message I'm not including. It was a bunch of it was personal. He was saying like, did you did you have a, a any kind of say in like your mother behaving so badly like that to you? No, it was out of my control. Okay, so like, same for a lot of you watching. You didn't have a choice. <clears throat> you know, he's saying a life history you didn't choose. Like, like that's just what what we that's the cards we were dealt. We had to fucking deal with that. You know, for those of you that had negative experiences growing up and stuff like that. Um, you know, to a significant degree, more so than a normal person. And a lot of motivation turn their life around, okay, can also be taught what does work. That's the, the key, you know, that's the, the silver lining here. We've all been, a, you know, brought into this space. I have the real solution. And that's not a, you know, it's not a marketing ploy. I actually do help lots of guys and have the fucking, you know, keys to the castle, so to speak. I do know how to fix this very fast. And I, and I do it time and time again, okay. Um, and he says, not just on a superficial pickup level, but also on an emotional level. What I've observed is that when guys who struggle with women get a few girls that treat them well, they flourish. I have met dudes, and I've seen that as well. I've met dudes with horrible stories or the rather spicy views about women, you know, maybe incels that are just like, fuck women, whatever, go through a complete transformation once they met a girl who loved them for who they are. Okay. This is, this is a good message here. Not to say they turned into weak soy boys, yada, yada, but they became less critical of themselves and others, more mentally stable, more productive. I don't know when you got in a pickup and when you got your first successes, but did you have relationships to change your view of yourself or the change your views of the nature of women? Made you more mild towards women. So I just wanted to share this. <clears throat> it's pretty fucking horrifying, okay, as, as you go deeper and deeper down the rabbit hole, that there's groups of men, okay, the, the, the people that run these companies, that are literally... Uh, collectively scheming to exploit vulnerable and impressionable young men who had troubled childhoods. Okay, or, or and, you know, and with, with a lot of these guys that are coming out of Derek's nightmare scam operation, okay, that legit had mental breakdowns. Okay, there, there was a report that one guy knew four different, I think he had four different friends that took Derek's program, like three had mental breakdowns. Okay, he like literally knew three people personally that had mental breakdowns because not only is Derek trying to, you know, just take $5,000, he's trying to take $5,000 four or five times and $25,000 to get you into his year-long mentorship. And if you can't afford it, guess what? They're going to sign you up for credit cards that they know for a fact that you cannot re repair or repay, okay, and get you approved for loans with, with you know, crazy interest rates and all this stuff to people that are approved anyone have giant APRs like 30 or 50%, etc. And they don't give a fuck. They get all their money up front. You, your life is destroyed. Okay. And then Derek buys three penthouses and knocks out the walls in between. Okay. That's, that's what's happening here. Okay. Th this is all going on right, right under your noses. Okay. And a lot of you are participating and helping them further their agenda. Okay. And, um, What's really fucking sad is they all pretend to be your friend. They all pretend to be your ally. They all pretend to be on your side to help you finally get this handled. Okay, has it gotten handled? For those of you watching, has it been handled? Okay, in 99% in, in of the cases, I know for a fact it has not. Okay, and now you see why. Okay, and, and, and hopefully this is a nice, a nice like realization to to kind of like, to to kind of piece together. They they told you, "Oh, you weren't trying hard enough." Okay? That that's a big thing that they say in the Derek program because the stuff doesn't work, but they put all the blame on the clients. Okay? I, I was speaking to the guys in the program. Every step away they're telling you, "Try harder. Try harder. Try harder. Try harder." Okay? You can't there's no amount of trying that can make a scam system produce results. Okay? I'll I'll I'll, I'll be clear about that. And also the whole thing is designed so that you will never get results, okay? Because they want to position themselves as the authority 
just giving you fucking garbage content that doesn't work. And then you need to keep coming back to them because the problem isn't fixed. Okay, my business model is to fix the problem as fast as possible, which may not be good for making the most money, but it's good from a reputational standpoint. So I wanted to share that with you. And if you guys, uh, you know, if this resonated with you at all, which it should, because a lot of you guys went down those those paths with those programs. Okay, you should highly consider getting on a 30 minute free call with me. The link is in the description where I will tell you how I can get you very advanced in a matter of eight weeks. Okay, it's very consistent. Guys coming through my eight-week mentorship are getting very, very good, very fast on a very consistent basis. No program compares in the industry. Okay, free 30-minute call. I'll show you how I can help you and how I can actually fix the problem permanently. Okay, so you don't have to deal with any of these fucking assholes that are scamming you and taking as much money as possible. Okay, and yes, my stuff works so that guys don't need to come back and take 10 more programs with me or, or one, even one more program. Okay, but as it works for you, you will let your friends know and then they'll come to me and that's largely how my business has succeeded. I didn't even need to do advertising. Okay, we, we just started doing that recently that, because when guys get good, they tell all their friends and then they come and I get them very good and then they tell all their friends. Okay, it's a real system. I don't need to just go promise the world with tons of ads and deliver nothing. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe below if you have not already and... I will see you on the next video. New videos every day at 2 p.m. Eastern. Make sure you guys like, comment, and share as much as possible. That'll help the channel to continue growing and propel. I'm going to be targeting a lot of viral hit type videos and continue consistently with a new video every day across the entire year. Okay, so the channel should grow pretty significantly this year. Every little bit of help from you guys is greatly appreciated. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run No doubt, son, this is not just about fun We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum